Hey pen folks, it's Troy here with another video and here's one actually I've been meaning to do for like six months and the reason is because I bought this pen, I set it aside and quite honestly almost forgot about it until recently I said yeah, you know I probably ought to pull it out just to play with it and uh, maybe do a video because I've actually had some of you who saw that I had this pen uh, during a pen mail video wanting to know um, when I was going to do a video. Well, that time is now. This is the Wan Kai Mini. W-A-N-C-A-I Mini is made by Moon Man. Moon Man, I've got some great pens by Moon Man, quite honestly. Um, ones that kind of surprised me in their quality. Uh, and this particular one is not one of them, quite honestly, but I'll share with you here why. So it arrives in a box like this, and you can see right on the back, Wan Kai Fountain Pen. It comes with a fine nib, and quite honestly, I didn't find them in anything but a fine nib. I was hoping to get them more in a medium nib, but mm, no such luck. So, went ahead and picked this up for uh, about $13 when I purchased it. And uh, the latest I've seen online, just before recording this, they're going for about $15 or so. So I went ahead and picked it up, and I've already filled it with ink, as you can see. Uh, when it arrives, it arrives like this. This is what it looks like without ink, so I can show you those pictures that I took. Uh, and when it shows up, it comes with some ink cartridges that uh, are here in this little box, as you can see there. So I decided not to use the ink cartridges. I was going to do this, do the eyedropper thing, because, quite honestly... I enjoy seeing ink slosh around, I enjoy demonstrator pens, and this is not the first ink that I've put into it, and I'll talk more about that as well. I struggled with this pen when I got it, quite honestly. Um, I had a hard time with it. I wasn't a big fan of it. Why? Because it wrote horribly. I actually used um, this particular ink here. I tried some Sailor uh, let's see if I can get that in this frame here. The Sailor uh, Okuyama, and that was the uh, the ink that I had used. As a matter of fact, here is the uh, screenshot of when I put this pen up on uh, Instagram, that I had it as my pen of the day. And here is the ink um, on an ink swatch. So this is what it was supposed to be. It wrote horribly. Um, I, I tried everything that I could think of to try to get better ink flow. Uh, you had to press down really hard on the pen in order to get ink, uh, to get it to flow at all, and I was just very, very unhappy with it. So, rather than totally give up on the pen, I decided to flush it out and use some Birmingham pens and put it in ink that I know behaved well. So I put in some Andy Warhol Pop Art Purple because I don't have that in any other pen right now. And I wanted something that was kind of unique and pretty. So, what can I tell you about this? Well, it's a clear acrylic with that nice swirl. And quite honestly, I did not need another pocket pen. I'm not a huge fan of pocket pens. I've got a bunch of them because I like to experiment. I like to play with them. Uh, and quite honestly, I just like to have a collection. So I went ahead and got this knowing that yeah, I may or may not be a fan of something this small. Uh, quite honestly, to give you an idea, I've got other pocket pens like the Oto Tosh or Tache, as I've heard some people call it, the Oto Rook, the Stipula Passaporto, and of course. The Kaveco Sport, to give you an idea, size comparison wise. That, that goes for about $30, a Stipula Passaporto. And if I had to do it again, um, and I just wanted a good, clear uh, demonstrator, and I only wanted to buy one, even though the Stipula Passaporto is about twice the price of the Wan Kai Mini, I probably would go the Stipula Passaporto only because of the quality issues that I've had with. Uh, the Mini. That being said, I did manage to get a little bit better performance out of it by flushing it. I tore it apart and then I put it back together and I put in a different ink. So, this little baby, this little tiny thing, I mean as adorable as it is, I mean it's a good looking pen. I like the swirls in the acrylic. 
I think that was very nicely done. You look at the, it's got a, it's got a nice little convex or a nice little rounded top here. Here, the same thing at the bottom, but it also has a carve out for some threads. So it is a twist to open, and these threads go right on the back here, which is something, quite honestly, you're going to need if you want to write with this thing effectively. Why? Because that is too stubby. I just, there's no way I'm going to be able to take this and write with it and be comfortable with it. So, Let's go ahead and put the, the two together, mate them. Much better. Still, not exactly what I like, but it is um, a whole lot better than it was. So it kind of makes up for the idea of it having been a pocket pen and being so short and stubby, you may be able to write with it better. Now, one of the things about it too, <clears throat> this little nib, it's a gold tone nib. It is a fine nib, and it is by Moon Man. So it's not Wonkai branded anywhere except on the box, but you can see that Moon Man nib right there. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to give you some statistics about it, uh, and then I'm going to show you the writing sample that I'm able to give, and I'll show you the uh, you know, the hen scratch that I was able to get prior to uh, flushing it out and putting in some new ink. experience with this particular pen um, this on that sailor ink you know it wrote extremely light it was very scratchy here and um, this is how what kind of uh, line variation but you almost had to press down really hard in order to get it to flow anything that was worth using um, I just um, really struggled with it to get it to write so after I put in uh, flushed it out put in some new ink uh, this is the difference here. Still not, um, at first, not so good, but once the ink really started to penetrate down in, um, it got to be better, and a little bit better as I started to uh, get better ink flow with a better behaving ink, as far as I'm concerned. So let's go ahead and uh, do a little bit of writing. And um, it's still not where I want it. It does much better on Rhodia uh, paper than it did, let's say, on just a notepad. But I use this pen at work. If I'm going to use a pen, I, I use it at work. I, I use pens uh, to carry, everyday carry. And I'm not always writing on Rhodia.pad. But I will tell you, it does write better on Rhodia. So this is the Wonkai Mini. It's got a fine nib. fine steel nib and you can see it's it still writes fairly light it's definitely a fine nib um, it's nowhere near as dark as I'd like it to be but I can get a little darker on it not a whole lot of flex to it it's still a fairly rigid nib but you can still get some line variation out of it and get it to write a little wetter I've fiddled with this nib, I have played with it trying to get it to write wetter on its own without having to apply so much pressure. So far, hadn't been real successful. Um, this is something I'll probably take uh, a little bit of time with and smooth out the nib even better uh, because quite honestly it's a little scratchy on anything so far I've written on except the Rhodia pad. Uh, this is uh, a much improved writing over, you know, like a little notepad like that. So I did put into the, eventually some Birmingham pens pop art purple you can really hear that feedback and it's kinda of scratchy this is something that's really going to need some smoothing in order to be acceptable to me. 
Um, I'm, I'm not happy with the performance of this particular pen in terms of scratchiness. Uh, obviously with a fine nib, I'm not a fan of fine nibs anyway. Never really have been, which is one of the reasons I hemmed in hot over whether to buy it. So I said, you know, sometimes I can get a decent fine. I'll give it a try because I've used other Moon Man pens and been happy with them. So I figured I'd give it a shot. But overall, yeah, not a fan. I'm just uh, not extremely happy with it. Okay, $15. Actually, for, for me, when I bought it, $13.72, uh, including the tax, sales tax that I had to pay. So I waited six months to be to play with this pen, and uh, I really wasn't missing anything, quite honestly. Um, I mean, it's pretty. It, it's a cute little pen. It's adorable. It just doesn't write as well as I would hope. So, I don't know if I'm going to uh, end up trying to replace that nib, uh, maybe, I don't know. Um, but I'll be honest with you, if I had, like I said earlier, if I had to do it again, I would take this, the, the Stipula Passaporto here, and I would actually use that. Um, and yes, it's $30 compared to $15, uh, but if I was in the market for a demonstrator pocket pen, I probably would end up with a Stipula. Uh, just because of the, the difference in quality. wasn't a tremendous fan of this, but it's much better, I can tell you, quality-wise, I think, than the, the Wong Kai. Um, then again, you know, Stipula being a much different manufacturer from a different part of the world, go figure. All right, well, there you go. Um, the Wong Kai Mini. Hey, guys, just a really quick update. I mean, I, I went ahead and decided not to give up on this pen. So I went ahead, because I got a bunch of spare nibs, I put in a 1.1 stub nib on this thing. So uh, let's see how well that stub nib goes instead. So this is a Wan Kai. This is the Mini with a replacement nib. Look at that. Much, much, much better.